Okay, number three. Who's gonna talk me through this one? I'm just gonna start picking people. Does anyone wanna volunteer? <coughs> Ethan? I don't forget your negative. So we're going to multiply to get 7, which we know from the previous one is 1 and 7. How did you add to get negative 6? How did you add your 1 and 7 to get negative 6? Yeah. Make the 7 negative. Good. So you have S plus 1, S minus 7. Okay, Josh Green, what's A? Number five. What's B? What's C? Okay, and what did you find to multiply to 20? Two and 10. How did you add them to get eight? Good. Okay. Questions? Seven. Austin. What's A, B, and C? No, remember? What? One. That one's negative one and negative 12. Okay, so what did you find to multiply to 12? Two and six, what else? Okay. Which ones could you take and add to get negative one? Okay, what did you, which one do you have to make negative? That's all good. Are we okay? Okay, I hope so. Nine. A, B, and C. Um, Samaya. Yeah. Good. So what do you find to multiply to three? Okay. And how am I going to add them to get four? Good. Yeah, D plus one, D plus three. Kelsey, I noticed you put a nurse thing in. You're going to want to keep your Chromebook up because they'll email you a time to school you. Okay. So if it's, you don't want it on your desk, put it on the side wall. This way you know when they tell you to come down. Questions on the first column. Okay, second column. Miley, what's A, B, and C? Okay, so what did you find to multiply to 14? Okay, how did you get them to add to negative 9? Good. It's C minus 2, C minus 7. How many are sitting there worried? Don't call me. She better not call me. She better not call me. No one? 
I wasn't going to call on you just because of that. Don't worry. Leah, what's A, B, and C? Okay, what did you get to multiply to 27? Okay, yep, and then you're going to add them to get 12. Good. No, that's 9. Okay. Next one. What's A, B, and C? And what's C? Okay, what did you get to multiply to 8? Huh? 8 and 1. How did you get them to add to negative 9? What? Negative 8 plus 1? That's negative 7. So what do you think I got to do? Yeah, I got to put negative 1 too. So B minus 1, B minus 8. Okay. A, B, and C. Okay. Okay. Is it jokey that I asked her to answer a question? Ah. So what did you get to multiply to 22? Okay. Okay, how are you going to add to get 13? Okay. Questions? Okay. Who wants to finish it out with a bam? Finish it out. Anyone want to volunteer? Okay, Xander, you're going to finish it out with a bang. Okay, what did you get to multiply to 25? Okay, and how do you get them to add to negative 10? Okay. So I have T minus 5, T minus 5. Which is nice. Do you remember an easier way to write this? Yeah, what is it? Like two. Yep. Oh, okay. T minus five, <laughs> and then put the two near it. Oops, sorry guys. I didn't realize it was done. Okay. Now I did, um, we're going to review them all together today. And when we come back, we're going to still do the same thing. We're going to do some applications with it and everything um, there are steps that you're gonna take <coughs> as you do this this is the steps now that you've learned everything these are the steps you should go in so when it says factoring this is where you follow this you've got all the skills now we're gonna put them all together and we're gonna mix them up on you so no matter what type of problem you have, the first thing you're always going to look for is a GCF. OK? 
okay? If there is one, you factor it out. If there isn't one, skip that step. Okay, so we already learned GCF. After you do the GCF, you have a choice. And this is where this is on you. You guys have to really think about it and ask yourself these questions. Are there two terms or three terms? If there's two terms, you got to check to see if there's subtraction in the terms of perfect squares. That's when we did the square roots. So the square root of 4x squared is 2x. Josh, check your headset out. Just because you're against the wall doesn't mean you can leave it in. I'm sorry, but no one else is allowed in here. Square root of 25 is 5. Okay? And remember, 1's plus, 1's minus. If there's three terms, you're going to find the factor of the last term that adds up to the middle term. So factors of three that add up to two. We found one and two. Oh, that was wrong. Factors of one and three, these are wrong. These should be three. That should be a three, that's an error. Okay, because three plus negative one gives you two. Three times negative one gives you negative three. Now, say you do step one and you get here and you can't find anything. That's okay, you're done. It's okay just to do the GCF and not do these. Like, it's possible. But if you can do these, you have to do these. Okay, you have to exhaust all possibilities in order to get it down. Okay? So, this is how you should be looking at this. We're going to go to page 70. Now, I would suggest you leave this open like this on the side so you can grab it if you need it. This is what page 70 looks like. 70. Okay. So the first thing you should ask yourself, is there a GCF? <laughs> now, remember we talked a one in front and a squared tells me there's no GCF. So I don't even have to try it because there's a one here and a squared. So I know there's no GCF. So then, you ask yourself, do you have two or three terms? How many terms do you see? How many terms do you see? Three. So with the three terms, it tells you to ask yourself what A, B, and C are. So A is one, B is eight, C is 7, and you're looking for what multiplies to 7 adds to 8. So you get 1 and 7, you had B plus 1, B plus 7, okay? Now, you're probably looking down this page saying, well, the, all of them are 1 and squared, so there's no GCFs. I know that, but once you get to the back, there is. Okay? This is trinomials. Then they do binomials. Then they put it together and do both. The bottom is both. GCF and trinomials or GCF and binomials. So what I did earlier, and it worked out pretty well, I gave them this time to work. Go down this worksheet, do the problems, ask the questions you need, and come in, I'll put down the page one, stop, one to eight, I'll put the answers up. Then you'll go the next page. Okay? So I will give you the answers in 